What's up everybody? Just checking in here. Um, I'm sitting in my car practicing. Check this out. There's like this kind of quiet street near my house up on the hill. And uh, down there is the freeway. So I don't think I'm bothering anybody with the noise. But uh, got a new neighbor and I think that I'm starting to bug the crap out of her by playing the same 2-5 lick over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So, I'm here in my car. Anyways, there's something that I want to talk to you guys about and that is how to develop practice habits. So, basically what we're talking about here is this amazing phenomenon that we trumpet players have where we start to think I want to get great chops. I want to improve my range, my endurance. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start practicing four hours a day out of nowhere. Yeah, good luck with that. So here's a method for getting into that sort of a practice habit. Basically, all you got to do is start small. If you don't practice at all, or if you practice like an hour a day and you think you're just going to be able to pick up and start and do the whole Bill Adam routine, 40 pages out of the Arvin book, play through the entire Charles Collin Lip Flexibilities book. I can't tell you how many times I thought I was going to do that. But guess what? Every time I failed miserably and so have many of my friends. Why? Because we're always just trying to bite off more than we can chew. So you got to start small and build up systematically. Uh, the the Example for me that's happened in the last couple of years is that I recently got into the habit of doing a mouthpiece buzzing routine, something that I never would have thought I would have done before. Um, mouthpiece buzzing always made my chops feel weird. I know a lot of lead players that are like that. You know, I'd do a little mouthpiece buzzing, then I'd show up in band or whatever, and my chops would feel like crap. I'd be totally spread, I'd be tired. I just wasn't used to it, so of course I wrote it off. Mouthpiece buzzing sucks, not for me. But then I took a lesson and uh, we worked on some of the Jimmy Stamp stuff, and I was like, hey, wait a second, actually, this mouthpiece buzzing thing's not so bad. I kind of dig it. But it still made my chops feel weird because it was so unfamiliar. So what I did was I just buzzed one note. I would play a G in the staff. With the mouthpiece in here loose, literally do that once twice three four five times I don't know just a few notes a couple of those G's and I just did it once a day that was it um, and when I first got into it I was getting something like this I was not lined up properly and my embouchure wasn't really supporting the sound right and supporting the aperture blah, 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 so on and so forth. So anyways, just playing that one or two notes per day was enough to help me improve and to get to where I could maintain the, the buzz when I pulled it out of the horn. After I'd been doing that for like, you know, a couple weeks, a uh, month or two, then I just added in some other stuff. I added in just an easy little gliss like this. And then once that felt comfortable, once the buzzing started to feel a little bit more natural to me, it was really easy to add in a couple other things. And I started a little um, modified stamp routine where I just was going do 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 And then I did that until I could get up to the just the middle C right in the staff. And then I expanded down from there. And over the course of about a year, I got up to about a 15 a uh, minute buzzing routine that I that I can do at any time and uh, feels great. It's a nice way to warm up or if I just um, have got a little extra juice left in the embouchure and I want to keep it going then I can just do this little mouthpiece routine and it's totally cool. Now if you think it's insane that it took me a year to build up to a 15 minute routine, I mean it felt like absolutely no work at all required about that much willpower, that much willpower, and it just sort of naturally progressed. 
So anyways, you know, start small, just the one note a day. And then after three or four weeks, two notes a day. Another couple of weeks, three notes a day. Next thing you know, you're blasting through uh, an entire routine, all your major scales, 17,000 lip slurs per day, and you built it up steadily, progressively over time, and it's a lot, a lot easier that way. Now, still, there's still this phenomenon where when we are here right now in the moment and we're thinking forward like a year, we go, God dang, a year? Oh my God. But if you do it the other way, if you're here and you think back a year, what'd you get done in the last year? What if you had just buzzed one note on your mouthpiece a day if you're not used to buzzing? What if you had just done one lip slur every single day for the last year? You know, you'd be better at lip slurs, you'd be better at buzzing. Or if you just played one tune every single day, you improvised over one tune. Um, the time is gonna pass anyways. That's a, a, I don't remember who said that. Earl Nightingale, I think he was like an, uh, one of the self-help guys from back in the day. But anyways, I love that quote. The time is gonna pass anyways. And if you look back, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, you know, what if you had just done five minutes a day? You know, you might be in a wildly different place, not only because that five minutes is gonna help you get better, but because getting in the habit of doing that five minutes every day, it's just gonna easily uh, grow into a more comprehensive routine and it's not gonna be a big deal. It's not gonna be a stretch and it's not gonna be difficult for you to manage your time if you build it up that way. So just a little bit of food for thought when developing routines, getting in the habit of new practice routines, and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section if you've done this sort of thing in the past or what your experience with this has been. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, you dig? One other thing, I know I keep talking about it, but if you're a comeback trumpet player, I'm, I'm typing, typing, typing away. Video recording, video recording away. Lessons for the ultimate comeback kit. The right habits to get back in track and on shape. That sounds pretty good, right? But anyway, swing by blackwallstrumpetbasics.com, sign up for one of the free courses, or just get on the email list somehow, because I'm gonna have a special offer for subscribers only. It's going to be cheaper if you're a subscriber. So get on the list. I'll talk to you later. Peace.